An Ottawa Valley woman has been charged with animal cruelty after 38 dogs were found in what the head of local rescue agency described as traumatizing conditions. Wow, well, look at these animals here. Let, let's have a little quick watch of this video. We begin tonight with a heartbreaking story in the Ottawa Valley after dozens of dogs were rescued from a home close to Barry's Bay. 38 dogs, most of them huskies, some as young as five days old, were found locked in cages with significant medical issues. <laughs> Laura Pelkey says she was horrified and disgusted by the conditions 38 dogs were rescued from. We found 17 puppies ranging from five days to four months in their own feces. There was dog feces everywhere. Um, dogs everywhere in small kennels. These dogs here were kept in cages in their own feces. That's very interesting because there's been a few investigations that come out of Canada that show mother pigs living in these exact same conditions. The Excelsior Four were activists in Canada who were actually arrested for exposing criminal animal cruelty at the Excelsior hog farm in Canada. Footage from this hog farm showed crowded pens full of thousands of pigs suffering from hernias, bloody lacerations, and golf ball-sized growths. Some couldn't even walk, so they languished and slowly died on the filthy concrete floors. Dead pigs were found rotting in pens with the other living pigs who were eating their dead bodies and others had been thrown into garbage bins. Wow. That sounds like worse condition than these dogs are in. These activists got basically arrested for exposing the cruelty. The farmer who owned the farm that these pigs were from got off scot-free. This Ottawa Valley woman has been charged with animal cruelty. Tracy Knight 40 has been charged with cruelty to animals. She's also charged with causing damage and injury to an animal by failing to provide adequate food, water, care, or shelter. But wait a second, it's the circle of life. She's trying to make a living. She's just a good hard working dog farmer trying to make a living. What if she was farming these dogs to eat for dog bacon? Would that make it okay? You know, whoever exposed this cruelty to these dogs should be arrested really. And they should let this poor hard working dog farmer free. I'm sick of these animal rights activists trespassing on these dog farms without permission. Look, this footage is probably fake. It's probably Peter activists fake faking this footage. I'm really sick of this. These bloody, these bloody animal activists, you know, always trying to make stuff up and you know, I think they should be arrested. Were, were they wearing proper PPE? Were they wearing their bio suits? They could be spreading disease, uh, walking disease into this dog farm. You know, poor hardworking farmers. So basically that's the upside down world we live in where if you do what we did to pigs, to dogs, uh, you would be charged with animal cruelty and absolutely publicly chastised and rightly so. But if activists expose th the same or worse treatment that happens to pigs, the activists are actually charged with exposing the animal cruelty. So there you go, what do you think of that double standard? Obviously it's horrible that the, these dogs were treated in such a manner and I'd, I'm not trying to bring light to the, the plight of these dogs, but just exposing the double standard here. We have cognitive dissonance. It's bad to treat dogs like that. It's okay to treat pigs like that. Oh my God, these activists who expose this are, are criminals. Oh, the activists who expose the dog cruelty are heroes and she's the criminal, the one doing it. Like, look, if the animals are sentient conscious beings, they should have rights equally. It should be equally bad to do this to pigs and chickens, cows and fish as it is to do it to dogs because they share sentience in common with the other animals. So let's undo the speciesism in society and be part of the solution and live vegan.